Hi, I'm Javis Lewis and in this quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to find the URL to a YouTube playlist, to your own YouTube playlists. And that is kind of a difficult endeavor. YouTube keep changing things all the time. And as of today, in, at the beginning of October 2018, there's only one way to do this on the desktop and that is using YouTube Creator Studio Classic. YouTube are currently working on revitalizing their interface. You know, from the crew that brought you one bad interface, they're designing another bad interface called YouTube Studio. And Playlists are not implemented at the time I'm recording this video. So I'm gonna show you this on a Mac, on Safari, on a desktop, and I'm also gonna show you how to do this on the YouTube Studio app on iOS. So let's check this out. On youtube.com, you head over, you log in, and in the top right corner here, you go to your Creator Studio. If you're currently in YouTube Studio Beta, I will show you how to get out of that. So if you're in Creator Studio Classic, as they call it, you have the Video Manager here on the left-hand side. And if you click on that, you can see that you get a list of your videos as well as the playlist options here. And this is really convoluted because you go into playlists and there's really no way to share a playlist from here, which is extremely confusing. But bear with me here. There's the edit button on the right hand side. So pick a playlist like this one, for example, click edit and that gets you into the playlist editing mode. And there's also no sharing button here, which is also extremely confusing. But bear with me here yet again, because there's another edit button here and you have to click that one as well. So you kind of have to go into double edit mode to get this button, which is the share or embed this playlist option. It's kind of convoluted, isn't it? So you click on that and then you get this extremely long URL. So youtube.com forward slash playlist question mark list equals 34 random characters. How nice is that? And they, they can't be renamed at this time either at, as of October 2018. So that is how you share the playlist. Now, if you don't see this share button up here, then it could be that your playlist is currently private, set to private. So head over to playlist settings if that share button is not there. My playlist is currently unlisted. So if it's unlisted or public, then that share button will show up. But look at that, if it goes private and I hit save, then a few seconds later, that share button goes away. So if you don't see that here, then it's likely that your YouTube playlist settings are set to private. So there we go, that's one thing to change that. I'm gonna change that back to unlisted for now so that that's, you know, there. I mentioned YouTube Studio Beta earlier because it is currently in beta. If we go back to the Creator Studio, there is an option that you can check out YouTube Studio Beta right now. And I guess as of 2019, this beta button will go away. But if you go in there now, you can kind of get a preview of what this new interface is gonna look like at some point. And I'm sure playlist sharing is gonna be available at one point, but right now it is not. So on the left-hand side here, we have something called other features, and that's where YouTube are telling you that playlists are currently not implemented, and you're gonna have to go into YouTube Creator Studio Classic for that to happen. So this link takes you straight there if you're currently in YouTube Studio Beta, and if you wanna use it for other things. Now that's the desktop version done. Let's have a look at how we can share playlists from a mobile application. I'm on iOS here and I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is my live iPhone 6S Plus that we see here with mirrored screen on my screen. And you'll notice I've got two apps installed here, both YouTube apps. One is the actual YouTube application, and that's not what we need. The other one is the YouTube Studio application. And those are, those are two different applications that have two different logos. So the YouTube Studio is the one that's got this kind of gear icon with a play button in the middle, and that's the one we need. So if you open that, then you get to your dashboard. You also get this, this little three lines icon at the top here. If you play, if you click that, then you get to pick a channel. So if you have more than one channel that you're currently looking after, then you can pick the one that you need. So my one, mine is this one here that I've just shown you here, my personal channel. And as soon as you click on that, you can again, click that little um, icon here and then playlists option comes up here. If you click that, then you get a list of your playlists as you would expect. And here, let's uh, take this, this top one here, which is unlisted right now, so it should be shareable. If you click that, then you get 
this icon at the top here, it's the sharing icon. So it's like a square with an arrow coming out at the top, at least on iOS. I don't really know what this looks like on Android, but this app is available on Android. I would imagine the interface looks very similar. So you click that and at the bottom, you get two options. You get copy and then at this, this here, you get all kinds of other options. This, these are the airdrop sharing options. And this is if you want to share this directly via uh, my iMessage or Twitter or Facebook or whatnot. And if you click this, option here copy then that url to that playlist will be copied into your clipboard and you can paste it anywhere you like that was it for today i hope this quick tip was helpful if you liked this video then please share it with friends family and total strangers and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you next time bye bye